people still don't seem to understand that when it comes to chasing your dreams and chasing those goals, they look at them as if those dreams and goals are their friends. Like somehow miraculously, they sit there and wait. If they sit on their asses and watch as life goes by and they don't really put forth an effort into anything, eventually that dream is gonna step off of whatever transportation it's taking and then come directly to you and say, here I am, presenting myself before you. When they don't seem to understand, that's not what life is about. You have to look at it like this if you truly want to succeed in life. Your dreams and goals are your enemies. They want nothing to do with you. They refuse to be conquered unless you are willing to get out there and put in the work and invest in with your dedication, your time, your pain, your effort, your blood, your sweat, your tears. That is how you achieve something. It's not going to stop off and just say, hey, here the fuck I am. You know, success is here at your plate. That's not the way it works. So if you continue to sit there and not make any effort whatsoever into applying yourself and you sit there and bitch and moan about why isn't anything going good for me, you're not doing anything. You're not investing any fucking time in pursuing that dream or goal. So why should it come to you? You don't deserve it. And just like the fucking critics out there that I can't stand, they will sit there and point their fingers at every single person that's pursuing their dream and their goal and sit there and just badmouth them and say constant just negative shit about them. Like, well, look at that person. He failed this, that, and the other. Well, you know, maybe he shouldn't have tried it, yada, yada, yada. At least that motherfucker step foot in the arena and try. It takes guts to take that first step and say, here we go. I'm accepting the possibility that I might fail. That's the type of 